Hey, hey, hey guys, my name is Del from twitch.tv slash television and uh, one of the more common games I play there is Diablo 2 and one of the most common questions I get asked what is this mod you are using, what is Pluggy, how do I get it and so on. So what I'm going to show you now is how to install it and how to have multiple versions of Diablo 2 installed at the same time on your computers. So, as you can see, I have versions 1, 2 and 3 here and I have my working plugin set up here. So always keep set up backups of your old versions. Probably right now you have one installation here. You can keep it, you can keep using it to access battle.net and so on. So always have a backup plan and always save the working systems. And let's go and let's rename this one to be old. This will be the old setup that you had previously, and uh, let's rename this one old as well. So, okay, and let's make sure that the game finds the right folder. So let's add that same in here and in here. There we go. Now you have a working version of 1.14c, uh, well, 1.14d, and uh, you can keep using it or you can install the game for the second time. Now. You probably also had the old installation files, well, or you had the installation files you got from the official site. This will not work for Plucky, so why, what you have to do is you can either go through here, through this link, or you can do the same thing as I did and search for it on the Google. And uh, I found this Battle of Diablo post on the Reddit, which adds you, uh, it, it gives you the old installation files which will work just fine. With, they work with your own keys, so no need to worry. These are official Diablo 2 installation files, just old versions of them. And I used the Google Drive version myself uh, to download it because it was the fastest, well, fastest one for me. So yeah, they're right here. So first things first, you want to make your Windows forget that you ever had Diablo 2. So let's go reg edit. Let's go reg edit. There we go. And you can either Save this on the desktop like I have, or you can just keep running it from here. So there we go. And let's go a little bit backwards to show you step by step. So we want to go current user, you want to go software, and then you want to go to Blizzard Entertainment and then just delete, just delete uh, the Diablo 2 folder from there. And this will make your windows to forget that Diablo 2 ever existed on your PC. So now what you can do is now you can install the game as a fresh installation. So let's do that. And there we go. And for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show you my CD keys. Instead, I'm going to have them already here through the copy paste. And let's move that off the screen and copy paste it there. And there we go. Then I like to keep this uh, link short and nice. So there we go. And you just overwrite the old uh, uninstall links. And then let's do the same thing for the expansion files. So copy that already. And once this is done installing, then we will install the next version. Or the next expansion. And there we go. So you probably have done this already. If you want to just see how to install Plugin, just uh, skip a little bit ahead. Uh, the skip link is right there. And there we go. Now it's done installing uh, the version 1.12 on your PC. And uh, you can use this one. Also, by the way, let's first things first. Let's go properties and add dash w. This will make it run in windowed mode and it will make it run much better. Also, you often want to just run old games on compatibility mode. Windows XP and run this on administrator just so that there is no problems with the way they work. And now we can run this and I'll show you that it's on 1.12. There we go. Now you could already uh, upgrade this one to Plucky, but you also usually want to keep, well, you always want to keep the Plucky installation the last one you do. So in case you didn't have the old version of the Diablo 2 already, you can run this one just fine right now and um, you want to just install Plugin, you can do it right now. But for those one who want to install it uh, fresh, I'm going to show you that, uh, first of all, let's upgrade this one to be the one that I can use on battle.net. 
and by using a program called Sandboxy I'm also able to run multiple versions of the game at the same time. So that's why I have uh, those over there. Okay, do not move anything please. Exit. Exit. There we go. So with the Sandboxy you can start multiple versions of the Diablo 2, which is why sometimes it's good to install multiple versions of the game at the same time, and they all need their separate key. So if you want to run multiple games uh, at the same time on the Battle.net, you can use Sandboxy, and you just need separate keys for every single installation. So just make sure that you change the key between these installations. And then let's call this one the version which I will be using to access the battle.net. So just uh, this will be having the latest version of the game and let's uh, add that ugly dash there. There we go. Now it looks nice and pretty. So let's also call this one battle battle.net. Oh, cannot type. There we go. Let's copy that one so I can add it uh, quickly here in the links. Right there and right there. And just make sure that I can it's running on compatibility mode. XP, series back one, two or three. It doesn't matter which one you do. And run as admin. Okay. And then we want to do the same thing as I did previously, and we want to delete the registry after renaming the folder. Just make sure you rename the folder, otherwise it will overwrite your previous installation. So there we go, and let's do the same thing again, and let's delete the registry. Okay, and now let's install the version that I add the plugin into. So let's do the original first, install, and agree, and let's copy the CD keys again. Now you can use plugin and the Battle.net CD keys, it's, it's fine to use the same CD keys for both of these, but if you want more than one account on Battle.net, you need to have separate keys, otherwise they will not let you to access the Battle.net, unless you have multiple accounts, obviously. So there we go, and let's copy that already, so we can do it a little bit faster. Close that, let's start the expansion, install it again, and agree. There we go, and let's move it up off the screen once more, and now I'm done with those. So now I do have the version which I want to add the plugin into, so I can just uh, hide those keys from there, and let's go a little bit backwards. So this one will, the, will be the one that I want to use plugin on, so let's again add dash w, and let's show you that it's on 1.12, okay? And next thing you want to go here is to the official plugin site, which you can find uh, from here. It's the source, and then you go down here, and you download the official patch. So let's get that one, 1.13c, make sure you get this one. Uh, I believe this one will also work, but I just personally like to use the previous version. And then let's have it on the desktop and run it. You might have to run it on compatibility mode, but for me, it's working just fine there, so... Okay. And just ignore this. If this, uh, if this happens, just ignore it. It might happen. It's nothing dangerous. It should uh, still have upgraded your version. So let's go see that it's on 1.13. There you go. So... Now that's done. Now next thing, we want to add the plugin itself. So let's download it. You can also get the zip version if you just want to copy paste the files in here, but this one is more simple, you just run it and press next and it's done. Simple as that. That's how you install Plucky. And by the way, don't run it yet, you want to do the same thing as I have done before, you want to make sure that it, it's running on windowed mode or it will just not work. Uh, I'll, I will show you how to run it on full screen soon. And there we go. Run it on compatibility mode, run it as an administrator, and there we go. Now I have a version of plugin installed right here. And it will have the infinite stash, etc. A lot of other good stuff, which comes with the plugin. So, 
if you only need this much help, I hope to, I hope to see you on my channel. If you want to stick around, I'll also show you a couple other things that I do with my game. So I'm going to show you the map hack and I'm, showing, I'm going to show you how to use the full screen version. I think the full screen version is what interests more people right now. I mean, map hack is actually simple to show you. So let's do it first. So what I did, I searched for slash Diablo map hack which gave me this uh, link, which is right here. And then I downloaded the version of the map pack. There we go. And let's copy this to the desktop. And you want to make absolutely make sure that this one always runs on administrator. Otherwise it will not work. So you can make a link of it to the desktop and then just make sure that it runs as an administrator. Okay, and then just uh, start the game. And once it's started, you inject it with the map hack by pressing 2 once this game is running. And okay, there we go. Now you have map hack in the game. If you want to use it for certain research purposes, like I have been doing on my, on my channel, I have reasons for using map hack. I don't usually use it, but sometimes I need it. So there you go. Options, video. Let's go a little bit bigger. There we go. And the second part is to add full screen, full screen to this game. And most people know that old games don't run well on full screen at all. Like there is some problems usually with them. So there is a couple workarounds with this one. And first things first, it might be complaining from for you know, that uh, it might be complaining that you need to run the X video test and you cannot run it unless again you change it to compatibility mode. So you make sure run this on XP and run this as an administrator. And right now, once I close the game away from there, I will be able to run the test. If I skip it, it's only going to show me this one option. But if I run this, it will break everything. Everything will look ugly just for a moment. Don't panic. It's okay. Things are in order. It's supposed to look like this. And uh, once it's done, it will give me a couple of different options. First of all, it's going to give me option to run it on full screen, which may, may, or may or may not work, we'll see. You might have to play around with this, but there we go. And then I want to make sure that I select this one, 2D, or actually, is it this one? We'll see, we'll see, it might break. Let's hope things don't break. Now I need to remove the full screen or I need to remove the window now. So there we go. And it should be working. As you can see, I'm running it on full screen, but because of the way this game works, it's uh, stretching it out for me and it looks just ugly. So I don't want this. I want it to be looking much prettier than that. So. Now we can use the Glide Wrapper for this one. And Glide Wrapper, wrapper also has a couple different uh, other good things about it. So let's go get it. Uh, you can either use the links at the bottom of the screen or you can follow this link over here. And let's download the version of Glide Wrapper in here. And uh, let's extract it in a folder. And then let's copy this one over to the, it can be absolutely anywhere. It doesn't matter where it is. It just has to exist. Anyways, there we go. Let's paste this in here. And then let's run the glide.ini in it. And it might be on German at first, but if it is just press this button down here and then go to STD export and remove registry entries. And right now, Let's uh, start by using the windowed mode and captured mode because, well, I'll explain that in a moment. And now you need to run the video test again, or you can do this first. So there we go. It's going to search for new different graphics cards and it's going to find uh, this new one added to it. And this is the way you can use the glide to have multiple different uh, settings done for your window experience. Like you can lock the mouse cursor inside the window, for example, which is helpful at some instances for playing Diablo 2. And there we go. Now it should be giving me this new option 
of 3D FX Glide and you need to add it into the launch parameters. So let's go windowed and dash 3D FX and OK. And right now I have set it so it's windowed mode and captured mode. So or capture mouse and it's going to look a little bit weird but it's working don't worry there we go and right now i cannot move the mouse cursor outside the window but if i alt tab i'm still able to use it outside so this is a handy way of using the windowed mode and uh, being able to still keep the mouse cursor inside it there is other couple of options too and uh, one of the which I will be showing you here is to not go windowed mode, but instead, if you are, for, for example, using NVIDIA graphics card, you go to control panel and you make the uh, make sure that uh, the desktop resolution will not be changed. So you go display, you go adjust desktop size and position, and you go make sure that this is the aspect ratio. This option. Do not make it full screen, no scaling, and uh, just keep it on aspect ratio. And now I can change my own display settings to be matching to the resolution. Let's find a good one. Uh, I think this is a good one. Keep changes. Actually, nope, it's not. Let's uh, go a little bit smaller. Let's go all the way down. It's going to look a little bit weird, but right now what this does, it adds these black borders outside my screen as you can see right now there is these black borders outside my screen so it's not uh, stretching the image it's keeping it nice and steady and uh, what I want to do is I want to actually exit the Diablo 2 and I want to use this program called borderless gaming which I have somewhere in here uh, let's go up here let's go to borderless gaming and let's remove the borders. Now there is a couple things you can do with this. You should just play around with them. I'm not able to explain every single thing in this short video. Let's uh, quickly make it first full screen. And let's remove the glide wrapper from this one. Because that, this will break it if I want to go full screen borderless. So there we go. And what this borderless gaming program does it, you can find it from the Steam. Uh, it allows me to go Diablo 2 full screen and borderless, or it can be make me just borderless. So once I launch the game, it will remove the borders as you can see. And right now I could uh, change the display settings, go smaller all the way down here, keep changes. And now I'm playing on borderless full screen. And I'm able to switch to desktop if I need to. So there you go. There is a couple of handy things you can do with this. You can play around with the uh, glider and you can play around with the map hack if you want to. But I hope you found this tutorial enter entertaining, educating. And I hope to see you on my channel sometimes. Just drop me a thanks if you found this helpful and it's still signing out.